Today, Yeet still counting shot on iPhone by Cole Bennett. This is going to be an awesome video, guys. There's some really cool stuff. I'm actually mad at myself for having not known about this. Shout out to Cole Bennett. He talked about the different apps used to create this video, and we're going to talk a bunch about that. I don't want it to be so focused on the apps and here's how to do this, here's how to do that. I want to really talk about an important message, which we'll get to next. But I do want to say, stick around where we do talk about some of these apps or some of these things that you can do with the click of a button on your iPhone that literally allow you to create VFX that you otherwise would have had to do visual coding to recreate things like learning processing JS or other visual coding languages where you literally have to write out scripts of code to make your video look like that. You can do that all with some of these apps. There's also 3D scanning stuff, other cool things. So I'm excited. If you are slap like on the video, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Subscribe if you guys are new here so you can stay up to date and all this information that we are dumping on you weekly. And let's talk about the behind the scenes in this video, man, because stuff like this, I love to see. And I think you can learn some amazing things from people like Cole Bennett and from music videos or videos in general like this. Let's talk a little bit about the iPhone medium as a whole. There's so many different things you can do with an iPhone now. If you look at this clip he's showing here, he's talking about free 3D LiDAR scanning apps. And I've talked about this in past tutorials because there's so much cool stuff you can do with this. If you look in the original music video, whenever you see stuff like this where you have this rotating 3D sort of mesh, that's all from these free apps where you can just go and scan any 3D object. I've done it before where I talked about creating those 3D sci-fi shoes. So it goes to show you having something that powerful in your pocket where cameras are getting better every year. You have all these different apps that you can utilize, create some different unique things and the ease of use to be able to just take your phone out, gather some B-roll clips, gather this and that, shoot something for fun, shoot a documentary, whatever. That's the main thing I want to translate and um, help you guys with in this video. What a lot of people who are consuming this type of content don't see, the entertainment industry is huge. There's a bunch of people making a bunch of money off of different songs off of different music videos everything from huge budgets to labels being involved to this and that i'm not going to dive deep into it but at the core of everything i love being able to see things like this where you're able to just grab your phone go with an idea if you guys are ever feeling burnt out or you're not enjoying the process of what you're doing try out some different things try doing something that makes you excited whether it's learning something new like 3d applying some different tools like glitch boxes or whatever or shooting mobile videos trying out different apps again there's endless possibilities that you can do with video production. There's endless different paths you take. You're always evolving as you move forward. And that's what I love about the music video scene in particular. There's people out there who are directing Hollywood movies that started with music videos. It's a great genre. It's a great thing for, for starting filmmakers. But the skill set you learn and the processes that you pick up, you can translate into so many different things. So again, quickly, I'm just going to browse through here. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm not going to focus so much on the effects. I'm going to talk about the workflow and how you can use something as useful as an iPhone. And we'll get into that to help bolster your video editing workflow. And then I'm going to hop in. I'm going to show you each and every one of these apps. Just as an example, you can use whatever you want. Again, it's more about the message here. It's more about being creative and mixing these different things into your workflow to make something fun, to make something cool. If you guys want a more in-depth video about any other of these Yeet music videos, there's a lot of cool flashy stuff in a lot of them. So I'm definitely down to put out another tutorial. Just let me know and let's get into it guys. And now a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Backlot. If you guys are filmmakers who are looking for a useful tool for pre-production or even just to spice up your videos with some animation, check out Backlot app. The thing I love about this is the ease of use. I've tried a lot of different softwares and I have to say within the first couple of minutes, I was able to pick this up with no issue. This software is designed to be filmmaker first, meaning they use real world camera and light equipment simulations. You can control the look and feel of everything here just like you can in real life. I think something like this can really be game changing for filmmakers. The ability to share projects with a team and pre-plan everything before shoot. The software features over 25,000 3D objects in their library, including tons of high quality sets, props, and characters. Animating everything was as easy as clicking what I want to happen and then applying some custom keyframes just like if I was using any standard video editing software. If you guys are interested, check out the link in my description to learn more. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the workflow. How can we work between our computer and our phone? What I did was grab some royalty-free footage off of Pexels.com 
and then I'm using Dropbox to be able to get those files from my computer to my phone or vice versa. Of course, you guys could always just shoot everything on your phone, use some of these apps for the effects, and then drop them back into your video editing software for touch-ups, color grading, and sequencing. It is up to you. If anything's uploading too slow, you can always just grab your phone cable and import it directly. All right, guys, so once you have your clips on your phone ready to go, the next step is to download some of these apps. And of course, you don't have to use the ones I'm using in particular. You can use whatever you find on your app store if you're using iPhone or Android. I'm gonna download the ones from the video, which is Glitchy, 3D Morph Camera, Glitch Studio, Polycam for those 3D scans, and then Dazcam for some extra looks. And of course, feel free to mix and match. All right, so starting off with the first app, Glitchy, Glitchy, however you pronounce it. I will say that for most of these apps, they're gonna try and upcharge you if you wanna get all the full features. I think this was like $10, but I will say it was well worth it. I really love how fun it is just to mess around with this app. A, it's easy just to slap some quick and simple looks on here, like a dreamy glow or like a displacement map, things that you can do within After Effects, but things that take maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. This, you can just click on the button, get a quick look if that's what you're going for. Really love that about it. I also love how you can click and hold on the screen. I know you're not seeing it in my footage, but I'm using my finger to control the sliders. I can rotate the screen. And every time you hold down, you're essentially creating a little keyframe where you can rotate, make any adjustments, change the slider of the effects, and have full control over the final output of the video. I thought that was really cool. By far some really awesome stuff. Not only, like I mentioned, those easier things that you can do in After Effects but save you time, but there's a lot of these coding based effects that again, you can only do with visual coding. You can't do this with After Effects. You guys are looking for After Effects templates. Similar to this, I have some on my website. But either way, there's things like this Z depth that you see in that still count in music video. You have your thermal looks. You have some really cool CRT stuff, which is always tricky to replicate within uh, a video editing software. So having having more access to those sort of uh, CRT glitch things, I thought was really awesome. I really love the emoji one where it pretty much uh, processed the colors in the video and replaced each of those color pixels with a different emoji. Thought that one was pretty sick. And uh, you probably saw a bunch of those at the beginning. Again, all easy to do. I don't really need to walk you through how to use the app because it's more about just having fun with it, messing around with the sliders. Anyone can do this. So there's just a little uh, run through of all the different things I experienced while messing around with that. Even had some 3D models, some different messing with the textures things that I thought was pretty cool, which you can throw in there. All you have to do once you're finished is click that little right arrow. It'll process the video and you can save it. And I should mention I'm sponsored by none of these apps. This is just pure um, raw reaction to what's going on here. So next up is going to be Glitch Studio. And I will say that that glitchy app is probably the more effect heavy one. Um, the rest are more just getting certain looks, whether it's a certain film camera um, or in Glitch Studio's case, they had some really cool filters, some really cool subtle effects that I was able to apply really quickly. They had film jittering, um, mirroring, real nice subtle quick things. They had some colorama-esque effects from After Effects where you could apply a chrome look or a certain color that kind of cycles in hue. So I really like that. Say for example, I'm gonna hop on a plane and I'm working on an edit and I download some of these clips that I wanna apply some subtle effects to onto my phone. And while I'm sitting on the flight, I just, I just mess around with the app, apply some fun stuff. By the time I land, I already have a bunch of work done. I can transfer those files back and I've already got a lot of the cool little VFX stuff out of the way in a fun, easy manner, just mess around with the sliders. I love it for that aspect. I don't think I'd ever fully edit a music video through apps. It would just be too tough, not enough accessibility that you have with the computer. But for doing things like that, where it's just a quick look that you want to apply, you want the ease of use, I think things like this are super useful. So the last three here, I'm going to take a little bit less time on uh, the next two. They're purely more look driven instead of like a Swiss army knife like the others were. Dazcam Pro is pretty cool. You can just pick through different types of real world cameras for photo or video and you can shoot, you can record your video from your phone and it'll replicate it with that look. Not much more to be said on that one. And then the warp camera just gave me this crazy warping camera, which I'm sure Cole used in that video just to get those crazy perspective disorienting shots. So again, it's not so much about you need to use this, you need to use that. It's just pointing out the fact that these tools are available and you can use them in unique ways. And then last but not least, I wanna talk about this Polycam app. And again, I've talked about using this in a previous tutorial because it's so useful having the ability to 3D scan anything in real life and get it as a 3D object. I talked about in that video 
how to actually clean the models up using Blender, which is a free 3D software. So if you're more interested in that, I highly recommend you check it out. You can do something like they did in that music video where you got a quick little 3D scan of Yeet and was able to just plop them in there, rotate them, twist, stretch, whatever. You have so much control and so much freedom with 3D. So having this at your fingertips is great. I mentioned a little bit earlier about how it utilizes LiDAR. You don't need LiDAR, which is the technology in the newer iPhones. But if you do have it, I'm pretty sure it makes the scanning process a lot easier. And I also should say that Polycam isn't the only app that does this. There's also a bunch of others. So pick whichever one you like best and check out some of those tutorials I linked below if you're more interested and uh, learning what you can do with this. So that's really about it, guys. Quick and easy. I didn't want to focus again on rec on recreating the stuff that was there because it's using an app. You're just changing around sliders. I just want to put you guys on to this sort of element of being able to utilize different technology in that workflow, being able to take things like this, being able to being able to think outside the box and gain access to things that you normally wouldn't be able to do uh, with your standard tools. So hope you did enjoy this. Like I said, if you want to see some more in-depth tutorials on any other of Yeats music videos or any other video, comment them down below. We're still going to be working on our visualizer series where we have some easy breakdowns on some visualizers. I've been really enjoying that. And we have preset pack three, which is giving you guys a ton of drag and drop presets for Premiere and After Effects so that you guys can pull these app videos. You can use the presets. You can utilize things like Adobe Premiere and After Effects to fully craft your guys' masterpieces when it comes to making your videos. If you did enjoy, slap a like on the video for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it greatly. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you in the next one.